Hi everyone! We're going to find the maximum and minimum values for y equals 2 cosine squared of x plus 8 sine of x. And what I want to do first is write everything in terms of sine because uh, this term is linear in sine and this one's quadratic and cosine squared there. So we can write uh, using your Pythagorean um, identities, we can say cosine squared of x equals 1 minus sine squared of x. All right, so let's rewrite this with substitution. So uh, my cosine squared of x would be 1 minus sine squared of x. Then we have plus 8 sine of x. All right, simplifying this, we get 2 minus 2 sine squared of x plus 8 sine of x. Writing this in uh, standard form, just rearranging this a little bit. Negative 2 sine squared of x plus 8 sine of x plus 2. All right, now we have to find the minimum and maximum values. So now that I have everything in terms of sine, I'm going to let sine of x equal, let's call it a big X. So basically that means our big X here is going to be in between the range. Remember your maximum and minimum is your range is going to be in between uh, negative 1 and 1. This is your max, this one is your min. So max and min. Alright, so let's, uh, this is going to be hard to factor. So what I'm going to do is um, write my y, subtract this 2 here. So I subtracted the 2, factor out a 2 here and um, let's see think first, let's go ahead and write this as uh, negative 2 uh, times big X squared plus 8 times big X plus 2. So I substituted in my X here. Alright, now let's do this. Alright, so basically we have negative 2 if you factor it out and you're going to get um, big X squared minus 4X. Now I'm going to complete the square. So when you complete the square here, you take half of the 4 and square it. So that's going to be plus 4. Uh, and then since we're, um, uh, this is equal to negative 8, you have to subtract negative 8 on the other side too. You can't just arbitrarily uh, add numbers there. So now the equations are balanced. Uh, this right here is negative 10. So now I'm going to write this as y equals negative 2. I have a perfect square trinomial. So this is going to be big X minus, you take half of the 4 is 2 squared, and then I'm going to add 10 to both sides, so it's going to be plus 10. So this is my new equation. All right, let's write that down. And we're going to get um, uh, y equals negative 2. Then we have that big X. Remember the big X is equal to the sine of little x. So this is going to be minus 2 squared plus 10. Also recall that my big X uh, is in between negative 1 and 1. So your maximum value is at 1. So let's do our maximum value. That would be substituting in 1. So if you substitute in 1, you're going to get negative 2 times uh, negative 1 squared plus 10. That's going to give you 8. So 8 is your maximum. Now substituting in negative 1, we're going to get y equals um, negative 2 times um, negative, uh, let's see. Uh, that's negative 3 squared, so that's going to end up being negative 3 squared plus 10. And this is going to give you negative 8. And this is going to equal your minimum. And these are your answers. This is when uh, big X is 1, and this is when big X is negative 1. There you go. Thank you. Let's see. trying to go too fast. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.
Oh, 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 oh,